Hello Libras. Welcome to your love reading. I hope this video finds you guys well. We're going to take a look at the current energy that's happening in your love life. What happened in the past, the potential outcome, and advice as always. Okay? If you find that you vibe with me, you resonate with this video, please hit the like button uh, and, and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That really helps us grow. <clears throat> All right, guys and girls. <laughs> Let's see what's happening or what has happened in love. What messages are here for you, Libra? All right, last shuffle for Libra. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, your underlying energy is the Empress, the Empress. Very nice. You could be dealing with an Empress type person. This could be a spouse. This could be a mother of your child or a parental figure. Um, Taurus, uh, I'm sorry, I forget the other one. What is the Empress? Oh, Libra. That is a Libra. I forgot. Empress is also Libra. So Taurus and Libra. I was going to say Libra, but I was like, let me be sure. All right. So very beautiful. Something could be growing, evolving, expanding, um, coming to uh, fruition, like thing, like things are, like they develop, right? The Empress has a manifestation energy as well. So um, their abundance um, this star earring is standing out to me as well. All right. Well, let's see. Let's look into your reading. The current energy here for you, Libra, is the six of wands. Okay. <clears throat> what happened in the past? The magician happened in the past. The potential outcome is the princess of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles. And your advice is a Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Well, let's see <clears throat> what is happening here. So you have a Six of Wands. I would say maybe you're accomplishing, accomplishing something or getting some sort of recognition. Somebody's paying attention to the good that you've done. Um, you, you've become victorious. Like you... You've won at something. We can clear. We'll clarify these though. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, clarify the Six of Wands for Libra, please. Yeah, definitely be recognized. Some sort of success or victory. Clarify the Six of Wands for Libra, please. All right, we have two. Oh, with the Nine of Swords and the Justice. So. There's something you're thinking about, but you're overthinking it. Like it's constantly on your mind. Almost the nine of swords almost gives me like obsessive thinking because there is a lot of thought going into this thing here. But with the justice, I don't know. I'm not sure what you're worried about. Are you concerned? Are you worried about things being fair or just? right things uh being balanced i'm kind of getting this thing about fairness mm, like if something like will you be honored for something why is the justice there the three of wands well you're you're planning something You're waiting, either you're waiting for something to arrive or to happen. Um, but you you're definitely stressing. Let's see here. I feel like you want to accomplish something or you did accomplish something, but it's giving you some anxiety or stress that it'll with the justice though like it'll be right 
Like it'll be fair. It'll be something like that. You've been waiting for this thing. What's the energy of the Six of Wands? What is the energy of the Six of Wands, please? Oh, the moon. What? In reverse, though. With the... Oh, the high priest is in reverse. Okay, Libra. Hmm. So the moon in reverse is like something being exposed, something coming out. But I, I feel like there is something here you don't know, like you're not aware of, because the high priestess is all knowing, right? She's all about intuition. And your intuition knows things. Even if your conscious mind is not aware, it's like your intuition just knows. But in reverse, I feel like you you aren't aware of something. Mm, the moon in reverse. Like, I don't know if this is you having something that you're hiding or someone else is hiding from you. You could be hiding something. I don't know what this is, Libra. But I definitely get that. Ugh, what is this? Like, are you hiding? I don't know. I don't think you're hiding your success. Maybe you're hiding. I mean, because this could also be not telling the truth, not being truthful. It could be like the de like deception is being discovered. Something trifling, right? Shady. Okay, let's get the past energy. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, It's pretty vague for me, but some of you, like, again, when you resonate with things, it makes perfect sense. But to me, I'm not really getting the gist of this. I just feel like you are concerned about something being fair. So someone could be lying to you or something maybe at work, maybe with um, something you're trying to be successful at. If there are other people involved, like someone could be lying to you. But I feel like with this three of wands, you're ready for something. You're prepared, right? For it to come to you, you're ready to go. <clears throat> I don't know, let's see, clarify this magician. So in the past, I feel like you were manifesting things, making things happen. There's action with the magician. The Ten of Wands. So you have concerns. You have current concerns. And in the past, you had like a burden you were carrying around, some sort of emotion. But it's often a heavy emotion, like a negative emotion. Why the Ten of Wands? Why is Libra carrying this around? The King of Pentacles. Could this be about your money? Could this be about a per it could be about a person? But I'm kind of getting job or something with being successful. Again, these are intended to be a love reading. They do not have to be. Trust me. They, they, messages can come out that you need to hear. It does not have to necessarily be about love. Like your finances. Like you're, you're trying to make something happen with your money. What is the energy of the magician? So you have some wishful thinking. You Are you had... Some wishful thinking here with money. A lot of thinking, a lot of fantasizing. You know, I, I often put the Seven of Cups. They almost feel manif like a manifestation, like what someone would do when they're like... Because when you're imagining, right? Imagining you... It's a form of manifestation, like you're bringing in things. Um, picturing it in your mind, visioning it in your mind. That's what I get here. But I think you're worried about money or your business or work. Why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? Okay. Okay. Seven of Wands. And then these two fell out over here. Temperance in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse. So, again, I'm getting this lack of. So the temperance reverse is like a lack of harmony. 
I mean, this could represent conflict, but the Five of Swords is like things being resolved. Y'all. So if this is about money in the past, you had some issues, but if uh, it looks like you you resolved that conflict or whatever was not working for you. Like I'm getting like you were even frustrated. I see the seven of wands and it gives me frustration. It gives me uh, like impatient. Like things were not, but the temperance in reverse was not being done in moderation. Like you, maybe you wanted to rush and hurry and get something done, make something happen. All right. So what's going to happen? I'm going to remove these cards. Um, but I do kind of feel this has something to do with money or your, your work, your job, um, a boss even. Like you're wanting something to happen. You're hoping it'll be fair. You're hoping things will work out for you. In the past, I see that there was still an issue. You resolved something. 100% you did with the five of swords in reverse. Yeah, like whatever was a conflict, like you moved on from it. But maybe it's, maybe that conflict kind of like left you a little, like scarred a little. Um to where now you're worried about things being fair because maybe something wasn't fair. Maybe you're hoping someone is not lying to you, hoping someone is being honest with you. Because um, whatever it is, you're ready for it. All right, Princess of Pentacles. It's like the Page of Pentacles. So what's going to happen? Um, maybe you're going to start something. You're going to start something new. Maybe with work, maybe with your money. Uh, clarify the Princess of pentacles please Ooh, the will of fortune in reverse though so you're going to start something new but i feel like that there's like some sort of interruption with your new start like there's an outside energy and it's not allowing this will to turn for you i mean i see you start something but what's going why the will of fortune in reverse Okay, maybe this is something with a home. Is this something with a house? Like, are you hoping someone doesn't discriminate against you for whatever reason? Uh, maybe you have something that works against you. Like, okay, like say, for example, if you wanted to buy a house, but you don't really have collateral or you don't make a certain amount of money and you're kind of hoping that, someone like gives you a chance right it's kind of that energy like maybe you don't feel it's adequate enough or you don't have the right requirements i'm getting something like that um or this could this could be about a relationship but the four of wands gives me home and perhaps you maybe you you're going to tell someone the truth you're going to just be honest about it you know what's the energy of the princess I'm sorry, princess. What's the energy of the princess of pentacles? The four of cups. <sighs> so. I'm, I'm getting something about like being inadequate. You know, like I don't meet the requirements. I don't have what it takes. Whether that's money, whether that's, I don't know, something, something like that. And maybe you'll just tell someone the truth. I don't have what you need me to have. Why the Page of Swords? Because the Page of Swords speaks truth. Why the Page of Swords? Why the Page of Swords? Okay, here we go. The Three of Pentacles. Perhaps this is a business thing. Something casual. I'm getting something really casual. Working with someone. Collaborating. But I, I like you don't have what it takes. This could be romantic. It could be business. Take it how it resonates. All right. Let's get your advice. But what's going to happen? I feel like you're going to tell someone the truth. 
Because you do have something that's prohibiting you, like a, a hindrance. And I, you're feeling like you don't measure up or you don't have enough or you need something else. But I feel like you're going to cooperate with someone and be truthful and honest. Okay. Or them, you, this could, you know, roles could flip. So the 10 of pentacles is your advice. So when I get the 10 of pentacles, it's like, it's, it's, it's it has to do with wealth. It has to do with long term. It has to do with stability. So this could be like saving your money, um, sharing with another person. We'll see. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for advice. Okay, you're getting reversals. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. And the other Three of Swords. So, okay. <clears throat> Give me a second while I figure this out. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It, like... I don't know. It, it that's still giving me inadequate like energy because it's not like it's like I haven't done enough. I haven't worked enough. I haven't saved enough. I haven't, you know, I, it's that is giving me that that energy. Seven of Cups in reverse. <sighs> like something is disappointing. And I feel like it's because I feel like it's because you don't have some enough of something. Now, if this is about a relationship, I don't know, maybe the person you want to date wants you to make a certain amount of money and you're like, I don't make that type of money. Okay, I am, you know, I work in this field and that field doesn't pay as much. Um because I felt like you wanted someone to like accept you. But there was a part of you that almost wanted to be deceptive. Because I have the moon in reverse. That's like being exposed. Or or even if, if you weren't deceptive, like you weren't saying it. But then I felt like you would say that you, you would tell the truth. Like your current energy was like, I don't really want to tell them. Or some of you, it's like, I have, you know, five children, right? <laughs> and maybe that's not making you feel worthy or you know it's something like that you guys i mean i could throw out all kind of things but i hope this three of swords is not you being mad at yourself or upset with yourself because i kind of feel like that could be a thing um what's the energy of the ten of pentacles so you're getting this um the three of wands in reverse you're getting like a lot of reversals um So if you're, oh, here's another, another card flipped over. Oh, the queen of cups. The three of wands reverse. It's like things aren't coming in. Things aren't moving for you. But the 10 of, okay, with the queen of cups though. The 10 of pentacles is something about saving your money or sharing with someone else you know let's see it's almost like also what i'm getting you this is giving me like energy, like being happy with what you have. That is definitely for somebody because the queen of cups is talking about like self-love. You know, I don't think this is another person. I think this is a part of your advice. The energy of that is like, accept what you have, love who you are as you are. It kind of makes sense though. Like now that I'm thinking back at the entire reading, it does kind of make sense. Maybe And you're not doing something because you feel like you don't have what it takes. Um, I'm also getting somebody could be wanting to reach out to a potential love interest and you're not because you don't feel handsome enough or you don't feel pretty enough. 
And it's like, wait, no. No, no, no. Like, the Ten of Pentacles is like, you have this. You have something pretty significant. Um, but I don't think you see it. And so the Queen of Cups is probably reminding you of that. And remember, your underlying energy was the Empress. Uh-oh. My I hit my light. <laughs> your underlying energy was the Empress. Which is, this is the underlying energy. I, I feel like you're more beautiful and abundant and worthy and valuable than you believe that you are so don't don't cut yourself short by obsessing over what someone else may think because from what i see i mean you are kind of like the bee's knee you know what i'm saying you're the business libra like you have so much to offer you have so many great things about you <sighs> yeah so you guys I'm going to leave it there, okay? And um, don't obsess over what you don't have. Like, focus on what you do have and build up to where you want to get to. If this year looks like, you know, if you don't like something, like some of us, if we have to lose weight, it's like, lose weight. We have to dedicate ourselves. We have to discipline ourselves to do that. But as far as how you were created, um, I mean, you could change it if you want or try to. But for the most part, I feel like you should try to find the beauty in everything about you. And then if somebody has a problem with that, that's a personal problem for them. That has nothing to do with you. That's not your issue. Because how someone sees you or think of you has nothing to do with how you should look at yourself. That's they, they, They're they entitled to their own opinion. And um, so are you about yourself. All right, Libra. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Okay. And um, I will be talking to you guys soon. Mwah. Deuces.